Tonight, less than two weeks away until Brock Lesnar challenges for the WWE Championship, he competes on Raw in the main event against the great liberator, Sami Zayn. Zayn called out Lesnar. He gets the matchup later tonight on Raw. Plus, it is an open challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. The Invincible, Ilya Dragunov, retained the title in his last outing against Shinsuke Nakamura. He puts the title on the line later tonight in an open challenge. We are live tonight from Seattle, Washington Climate Pledge Arena, less than two weeks away until WWE Vengeance, and we are set to kick things off with a little bit of action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. And coming up at Vengeance, this woman earning herself the number one contendership for the WWE Women's Championship of the World last week on Raw. Liv Morgan goes one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the gold is on the line. That is coming up Sunday night, May the 14th. We will be live from the Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada. Live premiere event, 5 p.m. Eastern time for WWE Vengeance. Asuka has been dominant as the women's champion. Nobody has been able to dethrone the Empress, but will Liv Morgan's first one-on-one -on -one opportunity be the chance to finally take down Asuka? But tonight, Liv's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man, Becky Lynch. It was last week on Raw in an eight-woman over-the-top rope battle royal to crown said number one contender for the women's championship. That Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch found themselves as the final two women in that matchup. And Becky Lynch, of course, sent over the top rope by way of Liv Morgan. Becky Lynch has not had the best of luck lately inside of that squared circle, and it really all started when she tapped out to Asuka on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Becky obviously furious about getting eliminated, coming so close to becoming number one contender yet again seven nights ago. Looking to take out that frustration on the woman who cost her the opportunity, Liv Morgan here tonight on Raw. This is going to be a great night of action. Once again, we are live from the Climate Pledge Arena, Seattle, Washington, one step closer to heading to the north for WWE Vengeance in Vancouver. And still to come tonight on Raw, an open challenge by Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship Plus. In the main event, for the first time ever, Sami Zayn called out the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. We will address that situation later on tonight here on Raw. But they will meet in the main event one-on-one. -on -one. Lesnar back in action on Raw for the first time in over 20 years against Sami Zayn here tonight in Seattle. All that and more still to come tonight as Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan kick things off. And look at Liv here with the drop kick. One of the several maneuvers that Liv Morgan used to incapacitate Becky Lynch and inevitably send her over the top rope just seven nights ago here on Raw. And as this matchup progresses again, we are going to be live for WWE Vengeance May 14th, but 24 hours prior, May 13th, Saturday night, it is our second WWE live event for channel members only. You don't want to hit the join button down below, become a channel member, a premium pass holder here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, and you will gain access to all past WWE live events, and that also includes the upcoming one 24 hours before Vengeance, and we will have more info on said channel member live event coming up later tonight here on Raw. It's Becky Lynch taking the fight to live. Looking for the victory here, and Liv gets the shoulder up. And you got to think Becky Lynch's mindset tonight, not only out for vengeance against Liv Morgan, but also sees an opportunity to put herself in line for the women's title. Meanwhile, Liv Morgan may be having Becky Lynch seeing stars right now, but she's not done just yet. And Becky Lynch trying to fight out of it, finds herself with a sense of urgency, and a clothesline takes Liv off her feet. Tonight, this matchup is about Liv Morgan building momentum towards her one-on-one -on -one contest with Asuka in less than two weeks. Becky Lynch, as we mentioned before, Liv hit those double knees. Could see this as an opportunity to put herself in line for a future championship contenders matchup as well. Meanwhile, Liv going to the outside. Becky Lynch sending her into the barricade there. Two. Becky has come unleashed as of late. A new attitude for the man here on Raw. And what a maneuver to the outside. Liv Morgan crashing and burning. 
Here tonight, the climb at Pledge Arena, and Becky Lynch is not done, keeping the foot on the gas pedal, and she has beaten the hell out of the number one contender. Becky wants the opportunity, or I should say, wants the victory tonight over Liv Morgan, and she wants it desperately. Ever since she tapped out to Asuka at WrestleMania, this has been a different Becky Lynch, but unfortunately, the luck has really not been on Becky's side for the most part. Becky was one of five women, including Liv Morgan, at Backlash, who competed in the elimination matchup for the women's title. Of course, Asuka retained a couple of weeks ago in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Back inside the squared circle, nonetheless, Liv Morgan, look at this. I thought she might have been going for an unprettier there, looking for a bulldog, but Becky able to shove the number one contender off of her. And a nice stiff uppercut there by the man, Becky Lynch, hard hitting inside of that ring tonight. Out for, pun intended, but vengeance is the man. Liv trying to make her way back into the ring. She's got to start mounting some momentum before Becky Lynch really starts to fight her style of matchup here. And maybe already too late. Well, there's Liv Morgan. Don't count out Liv. She's got the heart. She's got the desire. And I'm sure she's got the momentum on her side mentally and, of course, inside of that ring right now. After the win last week and catching Becky Lynch off guard, face first goes the man off the canvas, and that'll do it. Liv Morgan picking up a huge victory. Back-to-back -back weeks here on Roll, continuing to build momentum. The number one contender making a statement. Are we looking at the woman who will finally dethrone Asuka in less than two weeks when they go one-on-one -on -one at Vengeance? Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. Well, Liv has had opportunities in the past, but never one-on-one. -on -one. Liv faces Asuka. Woman to woman for the gold in less than two weeks in Vancouver, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to seven nights ago on Monday Night Raw. Seth freaking Rollins, one on one with now one third of the Brawling Brutes, Ridge Hahn. As you see, Seth Rollins picking up the victory. Ridge, of course, challenging Rollins after Rollins had ambushed Sheamus two weeks ago. After the air, after Raw went off the air, but you see, after the matchup last week, Rollins continuing the assault on Ridge the Fridge at ringside. An absolutely unnecessary attack as Seth Rollins was trying to send a message to Ridge, send a message to Sheamus, and send a message to the Raw locker room. It was a little bit later in the evening after Bobby Lashley had defeated Tommaso Ciampa. Cameras rapidly cut to the stop, top of the stage, as you will see here, as the reemergence of the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, for the first time since WrestleMania, returning to Monday Night Raw and attacking Seth Rollins, sporting brawling Brutes colors, officially aligning himself with Ridge Holland and Sheamus after two bitter ends on the top of the stage. Well, the Celtic warrior Seamus took to Twitter earlier today, and he had this to say, Rollins, you've seen my army firsthand. Brutes built on war and brutality. Since you've now struck a chord with all three of us, why don't you find yourself some partners and meet us at Vengeance for a six-man tag? Hashtag the Brawling Brutes will be waiting. Seamus, Ridge Holland, Pete Dunne, not gonna back down to Seth Rollins just yet. Seth Rollins wanted a fight. The Brutes are gonna give him a war. Will Rollins find some tag team partners by the end of tonight on the road to vengeance? Well, Sheamus throwing out the gauntlet, but another man and Apollo Crews has thrown out the gauntlet for Monday Night Raw tonight. From what we understand, Crews calling out Cedric Alexander for a one-on-one -on -one contest here tonight, blaming Cedric Alexander for failed opportunities as of late. Cruz looks at Cedric ever since he got drafted to Monday Night Raw back in March. He looks at Cedric as a man who has been, in his mind, awarded opportunity after opportunity, yet has failed on those occasions. Nonetheless, Apollo Cruz wanted a match with Cedric Alexander, and he's got to put his money where his mouth is. Let's see if Cedric Alexander can shut up Apollo Cruz, or if Cruz is singing a correct story. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, whether Apollo Crews is right or wrong, he's clearly shown a little bit of jealousy as we have been documenting Cedric Alexander's reemergence on Monday Night Raw over the last couple of months. Sure, Cedric Alexander has really not capitalized on a lot of big opportunities, but you see Cedric getting better and better 
each and every time he is in the ring, getting closer and closer to achieving those big opportunities. It was recently that Cedric found himself in the finals of the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. Right before Backlash, he went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura, unfortunately came up short. And those are just one of the opportunities that Apollo Crews points out that Cedric, in his mind, had been awarded and failed. Clearly, I don't agree with those sentiments, but nonetheless, Cedric not going to back down from a fight one-on-one -on -one with Apollo Crews tonight in Seattle. Should be a great matchup, nonetheless, whether you like Apollo Crews' attitude or not. He surely is an amazing athlete inside of that ring. He's looking to write a new story for himself here on Monday Night Raw. Drafted to the red brand from SmackDown back in March, and now is back in action here on Raw. One-on-one -on -one with Cedric. Apollo Crews. Almost just as agile as Cedric Alexander, but certainly has the strength advantage in this matchup. Even though Apollo Crews, no stranger to taking things to the sky, I'd have to say Cedric. Oh, wait a minute. Has the strong suit there, but Apollo Crews trying to put our money where his mouth is. Cross body to the outside, and he's not done yet with a press slam to the outside. Apollo out to make some noise tonight on Raw. He wants the opportunities that Cedric Alexander has been given. He wants to be in number one contenders matches. He wants to be in high profile main events. Apollo Crews wants to see his name in the lights and in his mind it starts with Cedric Alexander here tonight. And a night that'll also feature the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar set to go one on one with Sami Zayn tonight on Raw. Plus the Intercontinental Championship will be defended in an open challenge. Ilya Dragunov throwing out the gauntlet to the Raw roster. We will see who is going to step up. Cedric trying to mount some offense there. And unfortunately it crashed and burned. And Apollo Crews still in the driver's seat of this match. Squashing Cedric in the corner. As this matchup progresses, remember last week on Monday Night Raw in the main event, the WWE Champion Matt Riddle one-on-one -on -one with Solo Sokoa. An absolutely brutal fight. Matt Riddle tombstoning Solo Sokoa right through the announce table and still Solo needed to be put down with other maneuvers until Riddle was inevitably ever to win the matchup. The story really got told after the bell when Brock Lesnar hit the ring, the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Laid out Matt Riddle with not one, not two, but three F5s sending a message to the champion in the midst of their one-on-one -on -one contest coming up at Vengeance in less than two weeks. Nonetheless, we will see Brock in action later tonight here on Raw. Let's focus on the action inside of the ring. Paulo Cruz has been all over Cedric Alexander for the majority of this matchup. Alexander struggling to gain offense right now, and Apollo looking to expose Alexander tonight. Now here he comes off the top rope. Frog splash, and he nailed it flush. And that may be all she wrote for Cedric Alexander, but Apollo Crews ain't going for the cover just yet. Crews wants to put the nail in this matchup, and he may have just done it off that vicious slam right there. But Alexander able to fight. Alexander able to survive. Cedric not done yet, not going down without a fight. We have seen Cedric go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best here on Raw. Wait a minute, into the cover goes Cedric. Will that do it? Not just yet. Remember, as we mentioned, Cedric Alexander was in the finals of that number one contenders tournament. He didn't get there on accident. Defeated the Miz in the first round, excuse me, defeated Tommaso Ciampa in the first round, defeated Xavier Woods in the second, and just came up short to Nakamura in the finals. Oh, wait a minute, Alexander over the top this time. Showing Apollo Crews, anything you can do, I can do better. Cedric out to shut Apollo Crews' mouth tonight. Cruz getting to his feet, and Cedric Alexander, wait a minute, going for a crossbody of his own. And what did we just say moments ago? Alexander, anything you could do, I can do better, Apollo. You wanted the matchup, I'm going to give you a war. You know, Cedric was so close to becoming the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. We'll see who walks away of Seattle tonight as the Intercontinental Champion. This is one of those matchups that can easily raise you in the ranks to becoming a future number one contender for said gold. And Apollo wants to see his name in the championship hunt, but not just yet. Cedric able to pop the shoulder up, and even though Apollo has really done some damage on Cedric throughout this matchup, Alexander not going down just yet. 
avoids the splash, takes Cruz down, and will Cedric be able to mount some offense? There's the elbow. Cedric Alexander now. Can he finally start to put some maneuvers together in this matchup? Find himself in the driver's seat. Delivers the elbow off the top rope. To the heart of Cruz. Into the cover. Not just yet as Cruz gets the shoulder up. As we mentioned earlier, whether you like Apollo Cruz's attitude or not, he certainly knows how to get it done inside of the ring. But so does Cedric Alexander. Springboard tornado DDT. Down goes the opposer. Alexander went to follow it up. Cruz tried to counter as an insiguri by Alexander as Seattle is starting to rally here. Great matchup so far here on Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander wants that comeback win after coming up short in the number one contenders tournament. Down goes Cruz again. Alexander springboard going for a little senton there. Quick and easy. Apollo's going to be feeling that one in the morning. Cedric Alexander's got his eyes locked on the opponent. Apollo Cruz may have no idea what's about to hit him. Wait a minute. Reversal by Cruz. To the back he goes. Kind of wrench in the headlock there and throw Alexander off his game. Cedric Alexander may have, been, that may have been his last sign of life in this matchup. As he expend all he had. Cruz going after a both men there. And Apollo didn't get all of it. Cedric tried to get out of the way, but not enough to avoid it. Almost a cross, or excuse me, like a clothesline from the top rope that nailed Cedric in the back of the head. If he got all of that there, that may have been all she wrote. Nonetheless, Cedric able to survive using the ropes to get to his feet there. You know he's got to be feeling the damage right now. Oh, wait a minute, Cruz, a second spine buster in this matchup. And Apollo picks up the victory. Well, Cedric Alexander accepted the challenge tonight, but Apollo Crews made good on his word a victory for Apollo in Seattle. Here's your winner, Apollo Crews. Well, did Apollo Crews come to Raw tonight to make some noise or what? Picking up the win and an almost dominating win for the majority of this matchup over Cedric Alexander. Question remains now, what's next for Apollo on Raw? The action continues tonight in Seattle with a grudge match between the Queen of Hearts Natalia and Rhea Ripley. Plus, Karrion Cross is back in action as he goes one on one with Rick Boogs. And the results of those contests see the nightmare Rhea Ripley winning the rematch against Natalia from a few weeks ago. And Karrion Cross returns to the Red Brand Ring in a successful manner as he defeats Rick Boogs. The action continues right here tonight in Seattle on Monday Night Raw. It is open challenge time here in Seattle. And it looks like we have our answer as to who will face Ilya Dragunov tonight. The first ever NXT United Kingdom champion, Tyler Bate. Moved to Friday Night SmackDown when he accepted an open challenge for the Cruiserweight title back in December. And through the WWE draft has made his way to Monday Night Raw. And what a big opportunity for Tyler Bate here on the red brand. Ilya dragging off the Invincible One, retained the Intercontinental title a few weeks ago at Backlash, defeating Shinsuke Nakamura. And dragging off no rest for the weary, wants to continue to defend the gold he won back at WrestleMania, throwing out this open challenge tonight. And it's going to be an international affair as Tyler Bate is here on Raw, and he's looking to leave Raw the new Intercontinental Champion. This should be a tremendous wrestling matchup, which neither man is no stranger to. Especially when it comes to championship matches, these two men will fight as if their lives depend on it. We want to remind you yet again, ladies and gentlemen, that coming up on the Eve of Vengeance is a channel member exclusive event. You don't want to hit the channel member join button down below, become a premium pass holder, so you do not miss out on that exclusive event 24 hours before Vengeance. But here comes your inter 
Continental Champion, the Invincible Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov won that gold back on WrestleMania Saturday in February when he defeated the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Retained it successfully, as we previously mentioned, against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, at Backlash, and what a hard-hitting matchup it was. And dragging off the competition only gets stiffer, as he now gets in a challenge by Tyler Bate. And these two former NXT United Kingdom champions set to go one-on-one -on -one for the first time in the red brand ring, and what stakes are at on the line? The Intercontinental Championship this should be a hell of a matchup. And still to come tonight in your main event, Sami Zayn threw out the open challenge to Brock Lesnar. Lesnar accepted, and for the first time in nearly 20 years, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar will be in a match here on Monday Night Raw in just a matter of moments in your main event. This is going to be a hell of a fight between Sami Zayn. I don't know if Sami Zayn's got a death wish or if he's the smartest man alive. We're going to find out in a matter of moments in your main event. But nonetheless, it is time for the Intercontinental Championship to be defended right here tonight. Climate Pledge Arena, Seattle, Washington, getting a treat. Tyler Bate, one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. We're going to send things down to the ring right now for your official pre-match introduction. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dre. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The stage is set, and the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Dragging off throughout the open challenge, and he's got one hell of a challenger standing in front of him. Two former NXT United Kingdom champions set to clash live tonight in Seattle, and that is the prize that is at stake. This should be a fantastic professional wrestling matchup inside of that squared circle, and we don't got to wait any longer as the bell will sound. Right now, we are underway. The gold's on the line. It'll be very interesting to see how these two men try to get the upper hand throughout this matchup. Ilya Dragunov, I would say the harder hitter of the two. Tyler Bate, the more technically sound of the two. But at the end of the day, two fantastic athletes inside of that ring. This is certainly going to be a matchup where the better man will win in the end. You see Tyler Bate, as we mentioned, are the more technical prowess of the two. Already working over that arm of Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov going to avoid the strikes. Dragunov for... As we mentioned, the harder hitter, if we had to guess, of these two men. Certainly a striker inside of that ring. Certainly made the matchup with Shinsuke Nakamura very interesting at Backlash. And now a little bit of a contrast in styles, if you will, here in Seattle on Raw. Dragunov wanted this challenge. He wants to defend his Intercontinental title against the best of them. And he is certainly getting the best of them in Tyler Bate tonight. Bate off the counter. Look at this. Face first goes Dragunov, nearly head first. Like a nail right into the piece of wood, just going straight down. And Tyler Bate bringing the fight to Ilya Dragunov right now. And just imagine if Ilya Dragunov threw out this open challenge only for Tyler Bate to accept and walk away with the gold tonight. How would Dragunov be feeling coming out of Seattle tonight? Empty-handed if that were the case. Tyler Bates certainly looking to make the most of this advantage here on Raw. Ilya Dragunov, on the other hand, has got other plans here. Coming off that re retain over Shinsuke Nakamura, that victory at Backlash. Wants to go 2-2 two two so far in Intercontinental Championship defenses. Back and forth since the opening bell. Dragunov now goes for the chop. Oh, look at that. Very nice by Dragunov. Faking out Tyler Bate. Bate went to duck. Dragunov caught him with the DDT. Only a one count there. Very strategic wrestling by Dragunov inside of that ring. Sends Tyler Bate into the corner. And Dragunov 
Oh, look at this. We've seen this out of Ilya Dragunov plenty of times. The double lariats in the corner, squashing his opponent. Immediately into the cover goes the Invincible One, and Bait gets the shoulder up again. Dragunov trying to change the momentum of this matchup off those clotheslines, but Tyler Bates got something else in mind. Flipping him off. There's a duck. Leapfrog. Nice big boot by Tyler. Tyler Bate, not the biggest competitor inside of that ring, giving up a little bit of size to Ilya Dragunov in the height advantage. I'd say Tyler Bate most likely the more powerful of the two. Nonetheless, and Dragunov avoids the big boot. Bate went to the well back-to-back -back times. Dragunov had it scouted, and you see that discus chop. And now Dragunov back on the offense here. Power slam. Alex not to go for the pinfall. I think Ilya Dragunov knows it's going to be tough to keep Tyler Bate down in this match. You gotta wonder after the matchup we saw earlier tonight between Apollo Crews and Cedric Alexander, two men who would love to challenge for the Intercontinental title. Do they have their eyes on this match between Dragunov and Tyler Bate? And what about the man who called out Ilya Dragunov a couple of weeks ago, LA Knight, who defeated Shinsuke Nakamura here on Raw? Do those two men got their eyes on this Intercontinental Championship affair? We'll see in due time who will step up after this, but right now Dragunov off the springboard lariat, three slaps to the face, and another one. Down goes Tyler into the cover here to retain the gold, not just yet. Extremely hard-hitting affair so far for the Intercontinental Championship. Dragunov sending Tyler Bate in the corner. Will he go for those lariats again, or will he try to mix up the offense here? Corkscrews the knee. Obviously, both men wrestling with exposed knees right now. No knee pads inside of that ring, so those kind of maneuvers certainly going to do a little bit extra damage than normal. There's one thing about Ilya Dragunov, and even Tyler Bate, we could say the same. There's really no waste in motion between these two participants. They are two pound-for-pound pound incredible wrestlers inside of that ring, especially with the gold on the line. They're going to give it their absolute best as Tyler Bate starting to build momentum here in Seattle. The crowd coming unglued for the young man. Look at that springboard elbow. Takes Dragunov down. And as Tyler Bate moving one step closer to leaving Monday Night Raw tonight, the new Intercontinental Champion. Getting Dragunov up. Suplex there. Simple yet effective maneuver. Bate starting to build some momentum. Snap mare and down goes the champion again. Will the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion be adding to his resume tonight as he's wrenching in that exposed knee on the lower back of Tyler Bate. And it's got the jaw locked. Referee's got to make sure those hands don't slip underneath the jaw and turn it into a choke with Dragunov. You see Dragunov able to get out of it. And as we mentioned a few minutes ago, no waste in motion by either of these competitors. The champion right back on the offense. Tyler Bates down now. Dragunov. Going to the middle buckle here, and goes for the knee. Not sure if he got all of it there, at least got enough into the cover to retain, and Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum continues to swing in this Intercontinental Championship battle. And Dragunov now, sitting Tyler Bate atop the ropes. And what has the champion got in mind for his challenger here this evening? I could be looking for a, a wait a minute, going for a, Superplex there. Tyler Bate may have cost himself the chances of becoming champion, not just yet. Tyler Bate able to get the shoulder up, and Seattle showing their appreciations off that suplex variation by Dragunov. Almost had Tyler, but not just yet. Bate showing that heart, showing that resilience, showing that intestinal fortitude and the will to become Intercontinental Champion as Dragunov Pops up with a bare knee to the jawline of Tyler Bate to retain. Will that do it this time? And again, Tyler Bate gets the shoulder up. And the matchup is not over yet. And Bate off the reversal. Will the challenger begin to build some momentum? Springboard, clothesline, signature by Tyler Bate. And he may have just won himself gold here in Seattle. Not just yet as Dragunov survives. What a matchup we got on our hands for the Intercontinental Championship. Vintage fake out by Tyler Bate there. Suplex takes down the champion. Oh, wait a minute. Bates going to the top rope. He could be looking for that corkscrew. Vintage out of the moveset of Tyler Bate. 
miscalculated a little bit there. Luckily, Dragunov does not even have his wits about him yet. Look at Tyler. Not gonna get down on that misstep. Continuing on the offense. Dragunov rolling to the outside to try to catch a breather. We find ourselves at a stalemate. What has been an incredible Intercontinental Championship match. Back on the offense. Look at Dragunov unloading here. He's been back and forth since the opening bell. Dragunov again takes him down. And when we start to get in the championship rounds here, deep waters as we like to call them, how much more do these two gentlemen got left in the tank? They got to be running on E at some point, but at the end of the day, the adrenaline and the will to become champion is really what pushes you to the deep rounds of this matchup and allows you to survive. Nice takedown by Dragunov there. And you see the champion starting to rally Seattle once again. The crowd might be split. Half for Dragunov, half for Tyler Bate. Two fan favorites here on Monday Night Raw, but only one can leave with the Intercontinental Championship. What a chop! And a counter by Bate. Tyler Bate can only withstand so many of those strikes. Knows he had to avoid it and take it a move out of Pete Dunn's maneuver there. And drag it off with a counter. And here we go again, back and forth. Look at that maneuver. Senton. Drag it off, starting to put the pieces together. And starting to do it fast here. Tyler Bate is all kinds of dazed and confused as he's eating elbows to the back, eating elbows to the spine. Dragging off. Wait a minute. In the corner. Could be looking for the torpedo from Moscow. Torpedo hits. Into the cover. That'll do it. What a matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. And even after the open challenge, getting thrown off by his challenger tonight. Tyler Bate putting up a performance. Dragunov retains here in Seattle. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Pete Dunne at WrestleMania. Shinsuke Nakamura at Backlash. Tyler Bate tonight on Raw. Who will be next to step up to Ilya Dragunov for the Inner Continental Championship? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. There's our next channel member exclusive WWE live event on the Eve of Vengeance, Saturday night, May 13th for channel members only. And officially signed for that night, the WWE tag team titles will be defended by SmackDown Zone, Mustafa Ali, and Ricochet. Become a channel member today and don't miss out. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, 24 hours later, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we are heading to the north, Vancouver, Canada, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday, May 14th, for WWE Vengeance. And in the main event for the WWE Championship, first time ever, the man who will be in action in moments, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, Matt Riddle. And what about the Friday Night SmackDown main event that was signed this past Friday? The World Heavyweight title on the line. Braun Breaker wanted to make a name for himself, and he chose the top dog to try to do so. Drew McIntyre defends against Braun Breaker. It is a WrestleMania rematch for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar earning his opportunity. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio at Vengeance. SmackDown is rolling out the red carpet for their best superstars. The United States Championship is on the line as Gunther defends the gold against the new number one contender, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The woman we saw in action earlier tonight, the new number one contender, Liv Morgan, 
finally gets her one-on-one -on -one opportunity to take down the Empress, Asuka versus Liv for the WWE Women's title. And ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins has found himself some partners. It is a six-man tag team match. The Brawling Brutes in their entirety for the very first time will take on Seth Rollins as well as Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day in a six-man tag team match. And ladies and gentlemen, signed for next week on Raw, Pete Dunne set to go one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor, who will build momentum on the final Raw before Vengeance, heading into that big-time six-man tag team match in Vancouver, Bruiserweight versus The Prince. And these two men set for a rematch, a return match between LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. They tore down the house two weeks ago. Next week, they run it back. The Defiant Knight, the King of Strong Style, who walks away victorious. But as for tonight, Climate Pledge Arena, Seattle, Washington, it is main event time! Sami Zayn threw out the gauntlet. He wanted the beast, and the beast has come to conquer. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. So why did Sami Zayn call out Brock Lesnar? Simple. Back at Backlash in the five-man elimination matchup, Lesnar eliminated Sami's best friend Kevin Owens and took away his opportunity to become number one contender for the WWE Championship. At the end of the day, though, Sami Zayn willingly stepping into a one-on-one -on -one match with Brock Lesnar just feels a little fishy. If I'm being honest, I smell a rat here in Seattle. But nonetheless, there's no time to speculate. There is only time for action. Sami Zayn wanted this fight, and he gets it. For the first time in 20 plus years, Lesnar is in action here on Monday Night Raw. The Beast Incarnate is live in Seattle. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in. 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! He is the number one contender for the WWE Championship. And as you just saw, Lesnar is heading to the main event of Engines in less than two weeks to go one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, Matt Riddle, for the first time ever for the WWE Championship. Lesnar, a former 10-time world champion here in the WWE, looking to crown himself yet again when WWE heads to the north on May 14th. But as for tonight, Sami Zayn threw out the gauntlet and Brock Lesnar has never been a man to step away from a fight. It's been a long time since Lesnar was in action in the red brand, but this is not the most recent time we have seen Brock Lesnar get physical here on Raw as just seven nights ago, he laid out his opponent for vengeance, Matt Riddle, with not one, not two, but three F5s in the middle of that ring. We do know that after last week's war against Solo Sokoa and the ambush by Lesnar, Matt Riddle not in the building this week, but nonetheless, Lesnar's got his eyes set on someone else regardless. And this matchup is underway. Sami Zayn, Brock Lesnar, first time ever. Can't believe I'm saying those words. And I can't believe Sami Zayn is throwing haymakers with the Beast Incarnate. I don't know what this is all about. I know Sami Zayn, as we mentioned, said he wanted to avenge his friend Kevin Owens. But a, a willingly throwing out a, a matchup, a challenge to face Brock Lesnar just seems a little sketchy in my eyes. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn wanted it, and he's getting what he asked for. Lesnar already taken Sami Zayn to Sue Plex City. Kevin Owens at ringside, and remember Lesnar eliminated Kevin Owens at Backlash, but just seven nights before the Backlash pay-per-view, Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross had defeated Sheamus and Bobby Lashley in tag team action here on Raw. Lesnar emerged after the bell, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Kevin Owens up on the apron, he's mouthing off to the Beast Incarnate, trying to take Lesnar's eye off the ball, and it may have done just that, Sami Zayn coming from behind, these two men trying to turn this into a handicap match against Lesnar. And I would not want to piss off Lesnar. I don't know what Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens got stirring up in their minds, but they better be careful. 
with the alpha male of our species tonight, Sami Zayn with a tornado DDT. Zayn into the cover. What a surprise it will be. What an upset it will be if Sami can defeat Lesnar tonight off a second tornado DDT. These men better be careful. You do not want to piss off the beast incarnate. Sami Zayn's trying for the pinfall. You see him going for frequent pinfalls here. Zayn wants to defeat Brock Lesnar, walk away victorious, and quite frankly, embarrass Brock Lesnar here tonight in Seattle. Now, wait a minute, Lesnar, back in action right there, slamming Sami Zayn down. And as we were about to mention moments ago, seven nights before Backlash, Lesnar re-emerged here on Raw for the first time since WrestleMania. He laid out Karrion Cross and Kevin Owens with multiple F5s. I'm sure the prize fighter who is at ringside right now has not forgotten about that night and of course has not forgotten about Lesnar taking away that number one contender opportunity in Lesnar's hometown of Minneapolis. Sami Zayn taking Lesnar into the corner right now and Oh, there's a chance this matchup could have been over already as Lesnar was taking Sami Zayn to Suplex City. And Lesnar very well may have defeated Zayn had it worked for the distraction by Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn trying to tap out Lesnar here, and that may be, may be throwing, I don't even know, a, a shot in hell, if you will. And there's Kevin Owens again trying to take Lesnar's eye off the ball. And Sami Zayn tried going for, I believe, a blue thunder bomb, but Lesnar able to muscle out of it. And here comes Brock. Same maneuver. Elects not to hook for the pinfall there, but that's the same maneuver that eliminated Kevin Owens in the five-man matchup at Backlash. Belly to belly again. Sami Zayn is down, and he may be second-guessing throwing out this challenge to Brock Lesnar tonight in Seattle. And an uppercut there by the Beast. The WWE Champion Matt Riddle's going to be watching this at home. Thinking about what the hell. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell again? Kevin Owens, this is literally a handicap matchup right now. This is the third time already in a matter of minutes that Kevin Owens is distracting Lesnar. But Sami Zayn this time doesn't even have his whereabouts to take advantage of it. And this thing's spilling to the outside, and Sami Zayn better be careful. It's one thing to fight Brock Lesnar. It's another thing for a brawl with the Beast. Wait a minute, you notice in the top left corner of your screen, Kevin Owens just slid a, slid a steel chair into the ring. And that may just be another attempt to take Lesnar's eye off the ball. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. This may, this may be a surprise, or maybe not, but they have certainly come into this match with a plan. And quite frankly, I don't know what it is. Embarrass Brock Lesnar, defeat the number one contender, trying to get themselves a spot for the WWE Championship. I don't know what the agenda is of the Sami and Kevin Owens show. But nonetheless, they are trying to put down the Beast tonight. As again, you see immediately Lesnar is back into the ring and Kevin Owens waving his arms in his face, almost trying to distract him like an animal in a cage right now as Sami Zayn comes from behind. Goes behind on Lesnar, takes him down with the arm drag. And obviously Sami Zayn with the speed and agility is an advantage, but Brock Lesnar is up and he is throwing haymakers on the Great Liberator. There's a counter by Zayn and a neck breaker to Lesnar. WWE Champion Matt Riddle's gonna be watching this at home thinking what the hell am I gonna have to do to try to defeat Brock Lesnar in less than two weeks of vengeance. When the title's on the line, the Beast is gonna be hungrier than ever. Matt Riddle, who has already been through hell and high water in his WWE Championship reign, is gonna have to go to the depths of hell deeper than he ever has before to try to defeat Brock. Brock Lesnar is moving like an uncaged animal right now, countering Sami Zayn's every maneuver and a sit-out powerbomb by the alpha male of our species. And come on now, again! Again, Kevin Owens taking Lesnar's eye off the ball. It's getting ridiculous. The referee's got to step in at some point. Whether you like Brock Lesnar, whether you hate Brock Lesnar, whether you like Sami Zayn, whether you hate Sami Zayn, the referee's got to call this thing down the middle, but it's going to be a little difficult if Kevin Owens is sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Sami Zayn with the boot. And he may have just won this matchup. Lesnar gets the shoulder up. Just imagine Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and how big the egos are gonna be if Sammy can somehow upset the number one contender for the WWE Championship. 
And I can't believe I'm saying this, but Zane's got Zane's got Lesnar rearing right now. Lesnar is not 100% as he's trying to reverse Sami Zayn again after Zayn's couple of offensive maneuvers there. Oh, wait a minute. Lesnar's done playing games. He might break the arm of Sami Zayn. Kamara lock, locked in. Lesnar has snapped, and he has got that arm wrenched, and Zayn's got no choice but to tap. Brock Lesnar was done playing games. Had enough of Kevin Owens. Had enough of Sami Zayn. It was out to break the arm of Sami had he not tapped out and begged for mercy in the main event here tonight in Seattle. Lesnar is rolling towards Vancouver and vengeance. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Kevin Owens tried to get involved, but by hook or by crook, Brock Lesnar is the... Oh, wait a minute! Kevin Owens ambushing Brock Lesnar. As we mentioned, we we smelled a rat tonight. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they definitely came into this thing with a blueprint, with a plan. Lesnar may have won the matchup. He may have won the battle, but Kevin Owens is out to win the war tonight in Seattle. A stutter to Lesnar. The number one contender for the WWE title is down and out. The beast is being tamed by Kevin Owens, and Owens is clearing off the announce table. Sami Zayn might have a broken arm on the other side of the ring right now, but Kevin Owens is looking to take care of Brock Lesnar on his own. I don't know what the prize fighter's got in mind, but Kevin Owens better think about this twice, because if he does this to Brock, there may be no going back. Stunner! Brock Lesnar has been put through the announce table, has been laid to waste by Kevin Owens. And the KO and Sammy show, showing up to Seattle with an agenda, and Lesnar has fallen by the wayside. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.